In Schaefer Nuggets number four, I provided a link to Timmy's comments on this quote right here by Lewis Schaefer. Little reference has been made thus far in this work to the essential error of covenant theology. It may be mentioned at this point only as it bears on human responsibility before God. The theological terms covenant of works and covenant of grace do not occur in the sacred text. If they are to be sustained, it must be wholly apart from biblical authority. And that quote comes from Systematic Theology, Volume 4, page 156. And what I wanted to say is the issue here is much more than just the titles Covenant of Works and covenant of grace. I don't really care if they are called by that title. What I find missing in scripture is these covenants entirely. You see, covenant theologians refer to these as theological covenants. And there's a third one, the covenant of redemption. And some covenant theologians believe in that one too. So they have three of these theological covenants. And these are not scriptural covenants as in the Noahic covenant or the Abrahamic covenant or the Mosaic covenant or the Davidic covenant. These covenants we actually find in scripture. But these theological covenants of covenant theology are entirely man-made and what they suggest to you is, if you approach Scripture with this construct in mind, then Scripture will make sense to you. But the construct itself is entirely man-made. These covenants are not in the Bible, period. And here's another thing. I think it's a really bad idea to make up covenants and attribute them to Yahweh. Friends, only believe in the covenants that are in Scripture. And how dare anyone make up covenants and attribute them to Yahweh? That seems blasphemous to me.